Tosh Magazine TV show, hosted by Shoggy Tosh, brings to you the best of lifestyle, entertainment, sport, films and events. Oh yes!
Just some more questions because we, we could be here forever, but we will we, we, be kind um, right. to acknowledge that. Um, lift Him Up to me, you know, I know your CDs and I know the music and everything, but Lift Him Up has a special part in my heart um, personally, and I know lo lots of people that think, um, um. you know, the same way I do. Um, that breakthrough came in 1992, and I was asking you off camera that was there something special that you're willing to share with me and my viewers that you did? Because um, we know that whatever man soweth, he reapeth. Um, a lot of singers out there, artists that really want to make it big, but they're frustrated. So maybe there's something you did. Maybe you fasted 100 days. Maybe you gave to the poor. But I don't know if you just want to share something with us that might have helped that sudden breakthrough in 92. Well, it wasn't so much that it was a breakthrough for me. It was a breakthrough for Integrity Music. Mm. Because I had already made up my mind that I'm going to praise God, I'm going to worship God with or without a record label. Wow. And I was happy at my church where I was at Jubilee Christian Center. Yes, sir. And I was seeing the power of God manifest in that congregation with my pastor's teaching, with the music that we were doing. That combination was just really impacting our city and all of our, 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 our community, our area. And uh, I had already purposed in my heart that I was going to be there till Jesus come back, wow. working with my pastor. And I think that's probably the most important thing that I could say to anybody there who's, who, who, um, who is listening, especially if you're involved in praise and worship. And that is this, is that uh, uh, God is a God. Uh, well, let me put it like this. Christianity is all about authority and submission. Okay. It's all about authority. There's an echelon of authority in Christianity that we have to recognize and we have to, that we have to appreciate, okay? The Godhead is, is three in one. Yes, sir. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But there's an echelon of authority, whereas the Son, son the Son, Jesus, acts at the will of the Father. Hmm. The Holy Spirit comes as a result of the uh, uh, of the Son, the request of the Son, mm. okay? Yes, sir. So are they all God? Yes, they are. But there's, a, like I say, there's the, the God the Father, yes, God the Son, God the, God Holy, the Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. So you see there's an echelon of authority, and it needs to be the same way in, in our lives, in our careers, and all that we do, you know? You've got a pastor. If you're trying to be a singer, you've got a pastor, so you need to be connected to your church and you need to be in a right relationship with your pastor. The people in your congregation need to know how to pray for you. They need to, they, they, they need to be able to, to, to uh, uh, speak into your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not in this by yourself. That's true. Now, if you want to be a recording star, that's another thing, okay? But all of that stuff is going to crash and burn. Jesus is not coming back for a record company. He's not coming back for a TV program. No disrespect. That's but true. He's not it's coming true. back it's for true. a TV show. He's not coming back for, 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 for a TV station or anything. Jesus is coming back for church. And if you are not in a right relationship with your pastor and your church, then Jesus is not coming back for you. Everything you've done is like wood, hay, and stubble. It's going to burn. Hmm. And Jesus said this, lay your treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, what are the treasures? The work that we do for the kingdom of God. That's the bottom line. Not for your record company, not for your radio station, not for your TV program or all of that stuff. No, what you do for the kingdom of God, that is what's going to last. Mm -hmm. What you do for Christ. I'm not talking about singing about him. I'm talking about singing for him. Yes, sir. Being his being the vessel that he can use uh, to take the gospel, to expand the gospel, expand the gospel of the kingdom throughout the earth. Okay, now you started me preaching, <laughs> and I know you didn't intend to do that, but you got it anyway. All right, so you need to get right 
Yeah, I'm talking to all of you young people, you people who want to be singers or musicians or stars or whatever. You need to get right. You need to have a pastor. You need to submit your life to your pastor. You need to submit to your church. Your congregation needs to be able to know what you're doing so that they can pray for you. You're not in this by yourself. All right? Hear what I'm saying? All right. So there you go, my viewers. Um, you, you know uh, when you're with Dr. Ron Kennelly, you, you get a lot. Um, you move with the wise, you become wise. And I'm, I'm more wiser. And I'm sure you guys are more wiser as well. And, you know, it's just such a honor to, to be here. And I'm, I'm sure that you, you're loving this. Welcome home, sir. Um, it was, um, it became, um, it was on the Billboard's top indie contemporary Christian music album. And it won, um, a Gospel Music Association Dove Award for Praise and Worship Album in 97. If, um, and I, I think I know the answer of the question, uh, the, to the question about Siaxit, if you were to pick any, any album out of the, the one, the, all the albums that you've produced, is there anyone that will stand out? Will it be Welcome Home? Will it be Lift Him Up? Will it be Majesty? Or it's like maybe asking which out of your kids, which one do you like best? So but I had to put it to you, sir. Uh, well, each one, um, each project had a different theme or a different personality. And, um, and from out of all of those, um, I, I really don't have a favorite. Mm. You know, if you, you know, it's like my children. I, 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 I really don't have a favorite. Yes, sir. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You know, um, there's certain ones did certain things, like for instance, uh, uh, the first CD that I did with Integrity Music was called "Jesus Is Alive." Yes, sir. But before that. Uh, I did three other projects. Oh, with yeah. integrity? No, not with integrity. Okay. I did them on my own. 